So I'll just go to you, Owen, on this question, and I think it's something Noel uh, raised, uh, a very uh, interesting point. The lack of competitiveness. If we down here are ruled by EU requirements, say, as you pointed out, for drivers and the length of time they can work in any day, mm -hmm. and we end up with Northern Ireland drivers being able to operate more competitively down here because they are not ruled by, by that. Are there a number of competitiveness issues that are going to there, arise for us? They're already there, Olivia. There are issues with uh, tour guides. There was somebody from the tour guides earlier on picking up at Belfast airports their uh, Department of Environment, Northern Ireland, nothing to do with tourism, regulations on the use of vehicles and picking them up and acting as a tour guide if you're based in the 26 counties, whereas the six counties, <coughs> those based in the six counties can operate out of Dublin airport. They're, they're all, like, they're, they're 15 or 20, maybe lots of little regulatory uh, in, uh, di differences that are, are, arise as annoyances that stop small business operators, uh, stand in their way, bureaucratic requirements. The Noel's point is these could possibly increase, and it's quite likely they'd increase rather than diminish. Uh, the way forward is to have some sort of integration uh, under Tourism to Ireland and the existing arrangements that we can continue after Brexit. You know, in some ways, yeah. those could be a disadvantage for us, you know, rather than an advantage, because you know, you've got this issue where you know a seven-seater vehicle, nine-seater vehicle turns up, drops people off in Belfast, you know, to go for dinner, go to the Titanic Centre, play golf, whatever. Legally, they can't pick them up again and take them back. So you know you've got people then being trailed through the courts because they're operating as a taxi without a taxi license, and as a result of that, then people say, "Well, you know what? I'll I'll not bother." There are half a dozen Irish tour guides uh, due court appearances under this. Oh, oh, so, so, uh, that's just yeah. one instance of it. All yeah. that.